Hi everybody and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell where you'll see more great videos like this. So welcome back, welcome back. I've basically got three weeks, three weeks off. So expect more videos um, in the coming weeks. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get one out Monday, Wednesday, and then a special on over the weekend. Um, so watch out for those. So as I say, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to do something different. Today we're going to import a photo and then superimpose our 3D object into the photo. So let's get started. So we want our camera view. So this here is our camera view. Um, and what I want to do first is to insert a, a background image into our view here. So we're going to select the camera up in the top right here. Um, and then we're going to go into, what are we going to go into? Um, our camera down here, because um, we need to get into the properties. Then we need to s select background images and then add image and then open. Um, and then I want, what image do I want? Um, we're going for uh, one seven, I think it's that one. This could be a bit dodgy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, so here we got London. Here we got the Tower Bridge. Um, some dude, don't know who that is. Um, what I want to do next is go in and lock down the camera, the camera view. So I want to lock lock camera to view so i want to do this i want to tick that so now whereas before as soon as you start moving about you come out of the camera view so you tick that you're still in camera view and you're moving the camera around so basically you can arrange so that the floor is more or less in line what we'll do is we'll add an object so we've done that you have shift a um, we will add a um, sphere, why not? Let's add a sphere. Okay, and then let's just bring it on down. Let's scale it down a bit. Let's W and uh, shade smooth because it looks so much better. Um, next, what I want to do is add a plane. We're going to add a plane for the ground um, item. And let's just zero that. Zero that and zero that so that is the ground let's scale it up so at least we can uh, get some shadow on the floor so let's just go into our render image in render mode okay i mean to be honest with you the light is a little little bit harsh oh i just it's just right it froze the computer froze okay so we'll just bring that down there so the light is a little harsh anyway um, let's see if we can line that I guess that's good what we want to do is convert this Right, I keep forgetting to mention this. Right, we're going to convert this, okay, and make it into a shadow catcher. EV, at the moment, doesn't do it. Normally, what you would do is go into the object properties um, and then into visibility. And then normally, there's a little button here, which is shadow catcher. Now, if we go back and select cycles, so make sure you're in the cycles render. Then go back in here, visibility, and then we got our shadow catcher. So that's a good tip there. 
and then once we tick that you can see the um you can basically see it catches uh um the shadow so you can still see the plane so what we need to do now is go into make sure it's transparent um so we need to go into render properties um then the film tab so you tick on the transparent so our uh, um plane is just disappears okay so it actually looks like it's sitting on the ground but let's just adjust this light here um, I mean, obviously, well, have we got any shadows anywhere? Not really. Anything from the light? No, it's quite, quite a dull day. Um, so really, what we need to do is this light. Probably really need to chuck it over the top of our subject. Um, and then hopefully that will just give us a, um, shadow just on the bottom there. It's probably still, still too much, but, um, what we'll do is to give it a bit of a, um, a nicer, smooth shadow, I'm going to go into our world properties and change it to image texture and then from the drop down we can just select our image there okay um, and then just go back into there so that's a little bit a little bit better maybe maybe not sphere i'm just going to give it a little bit of color Okay, um, so in order to render it, because at the moment it's not going to render, um, it will just press it. But we need it to render this on top of the camera, the photo, even. No. Um, so we need to go in to compositing, we need to use nodes, let's just pull this one back a little bit because we need a little bit of room, um, so add, I think it is called alpha over. So I need that in there. Just drag that one out to the bottom there. Okay. Um, then we need add input image. Um, and then image to image. And then if we go down to the drop down here, we can just select our image here. And then we need scale I think add it add a distort scale and then we need to change that to render size and change that to crop okay now if we was to press F12 now we can what it would do now is render the sphere first um, with the shadow. Let's just pull that back and there we go. So it'll render the sphere, 3D sphere, and then it will put the photo in after. So it will composite behind it rather than doing it all at once. So we'll just wait for that. Oh. 
Um, don't forget if you're liking what you see so far to uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you'll be helping us out immensely. Help keep us going. Keep us going. As you can see there, sphere is... I want to do more like this. I want to um, do more kind of like effects, visual effects, like overlays. Um, so I might look into might look into doing something with the um, add-ons, particles, and such things but we'll have to wait and see yes yeah, so the weekend work videos if i just talk about that basically what i want to do is create a not a game an experience um uh, if you like so it's going to be like a spooky old hotel or house um and we're going to design the floor plan in another oh there we go look at that it looks real doesn't it it looks like it's there and then obviously the image you can import into your favorite um, photo editing software and do all your filters and everything else. Um, so yeah, there we go. We've got the shadow, we've got the sphere. We have everything going. It looks pretty cool, I think. I mean, if you know, you could even because we've got the ground here, although you can't see it, you can actually make it look like it's stuck into the ground, although maybe we should make that bit a little bit longer so it's not see-through. So it actually looks like it's stuck in the ground there. Or you could, um, if we just come out of there, shift A, maybe we could do, maybe we could just like, make a oh actually let's just go back into to there so we can see what is going on so you could like make a make it look like there's a new bin by tower bridge is a new bin i don't know why you'd want to do that but you could do that just chuck it over there. Let's scale that down. Does that look about right? Yeah. And let's just change the, make it a bit darker. You know, it, look, it even looks like it, f it looks like it should fit in there if we just duplicate and then on the Y. You know, we could just like add in all sorts of sh stuff. Let's just bring one duplicate on the X. I mean, obviously, if you put in a block here. Just to hide it out of the way, but I not because I'm. See, look at that. Look, it looks pretty cool, right? Looks like it's got a few new, a few new things added to London. <laughs> well, if you're more into your sci-fi. You know, maybe you could like put something like this in the sky, scale it up, make it look like a big smarty <laughs> over the tower. <laughs> you know, looks like an alien ship coming in. <laughs> Doesn't, but if you had a bit more time and you're into your spaceships, you could do something like that. So you can import any photo you like and add in your CG um, and then just render, go into, you can also do um, video as well. Um, you would need to select movie clip. Um, just one thing, ensure, because 
with this you obviously need your um, alpha channel so that it's disappears because maybe you want to export a like this without the image and then you can import the Im the photo and this as separate layers into like Photoshop or whatever you use and then adjust the curves and saturation and everything else sort of on separate layers rather than the one just so you can like align it all up but it's all pretty cool stuff I think anyway um, yeah sorry with the movie clip when you add in the movie clip I don't have any movie clips on there at the moment um, but when you add in a movie clip ensure that you select um, I think it's quick time um, and then rather than the RGB you'll get um, you'll be able to select RGB a I think it is so the al a is the alpha so it's your red green blue and alpha so that's what you gotta make sure you do otherwise um, you won't have the the alpha in the video there it would just be like black and it'll be like a black overlay on top of your video <laughs> with your little things columns and spaceship um anyway thanks for watching don't forget if you like the video to subscribe down below i'll put links in the description um yeah hit the subscribe hit the thumbs up hit the note hit the bell thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video ta-da for now